Hey YouTube, today we're going to be talking about these guys, red eared sliders, and why they are invasive in South Florida. So stay tuned and you'll see them up next. So these sliders are actually a non-native and invasive species here in South Florida. Uh, they actually were bought and sold in the pet trade, very, very popular since the 60s and 70s and have been ever since. Between 1989 and 1997, over 52 million of these little guys were bought and sold in the pet trade. 52 million. Okay, they were the most exported exotic pet in the world during those years. And because of that, we now have these red-eared sliders as an invasive species all over the place. Because unfortunately, folks realize how hard it is to take care of them, and they decide to just dump them into their local waterways, whether it be the canal in the backyard or local lake, river, whatever it is. They are very invasive, not only here in South Florida, but around the world, Europe, Asia, all over. These guys are originally native to the Mississippi River and everything that drains out from the Mississippi River. Uh, the yellow belly sliders, those are native for us, and those are okay to be sold in Florida. Those are the ones that are now okay for people to buy and sell as pets. However, red-eared sliders were banned uh, by the Florida Fish and Wildlife back in 2007. Anything that was bought before then, however, was grandfathered in. Uh, this one, in particular, this slider is a female. Uh, now, females are the much larger of the two. Uh, Yoshi here, uh, I've had since 2002, and we I got her from a pet store uh, at 12 years old um, when she was only about this big. Tiny, tiny little one. This is about the size that Yoshi was when I got her. This is a yellow belly slider, so similar, but not a red eared slider not illegal. Uh, this right here is a full adult male. Uh, this guy right here, if you look really carefully, he has much longer nails. If you can see them right here. And those nails are actually used for mating with the females. They go ahead and get right up to the females and tickle their chins with those long nails and that's one of the ways that you know that this is a male. Also their tail is much, much longer. And if you'd like to see a size comparison, this is the female. This is the male. So there is your size comparison of male and female male and female red-eared sliders. What they actually do have is a very hard beak and that beak is actually able to crush and cut up anything that it needs to. Uh, sometimes that is a worm or a bug or sometimes that is lettuce, leafy greens, or any other kind of grass. Um, they are omnivores, so they're going to eat a little bit of anything and everything. They take advantage and they're very hardy and that is probably what makes them so invasive is how adaptable they are. So that's all the time we have for today, but I hope you enjoyed it. And always remember to like and subscribe. 
and go ahead and put down any questions or comments in the comments section below.